The conference is now connected. Hello? Uh, uh, Mr. Raffensperger, are you on the line? He was here a second ago. This is Ryan Germany. Uh, Mr. Germany, uh, Mr. F uh, Ms. Yep. Fuchs. Uh, and Brad I'm Raffensperger, I'm here. Okay. All right. So, every, Mr. President, everybody is on the line. And just so this is Mark Meadows, the chief of staff, just so we all are aware, um, uh, on the line is Secretary of State uh, and uh, two other individuals, uh, Jordan and Mr. Germany. Uh, with him, you also have uh, the attorneys that represent uh, the president, uh, Kurt and Alex and Cleta Mitchell, uh, who is not the attorney of record, but uh, has been involved, myself, and then uh, the president. So, Mr. President, I'll, I'll turn it over to you. Okay, thank you very much. Hello, Brad and Ryan and everybody. We appreciate the time and the call. Um, so, we've spent a lot of time on this, and uh, if we could just go over some of the numbers, I think it's pretty clear that we won. We won very substantially, uh, Georgia. Uh, you even see it by rally size, frankly. We'd be getting 25, 30,000 people a rally, and uh, the competition would get less than 100 people, and it never made sense. But we have a, a number of things. We have at least two or three, anywhere from 250 to 300,000 ballots were dropped mysteriously into the rolls. Much of that had to do with uh, Fulton County, uh, which hasn't been checked. We think that if you check the signatures, a real check of the signatures going back in Fulton County, you'll find at least a couple of hundred thousand of uh, forged signatures of uh, people with uh, that who's, who have been forged. Uh, and uh, we are quite sure that's going to happen. Another, uh, another tremendous number, we're going to have an ac accurate number over the next two days with certified accountants, uh, but an accurate number... Uh, will be given, but it's it's uh, in the 50s of thousands, uh, and that's people that went to vote, and they were told they can't vote because they've already been voted for, uh, and uh, it's a very sad thing. They walked out uh, complaining, but they, the, the number is large. We'll have it for you, but it's, very, it's much more than the uh, number of 11,779. That's the, the current margin is only... Eleven thousand seven seventy nine. Uh, Brad, I think I think you agree with that, right? That's that's something I think everyone, at least that's a number that everyone agrees on. But uh, that's the difference uh, in the votes. Uh, but we've had uh, uh, hundreds of thousands of ballots that we're uh, we're be, we're able to actually will get you a pretty accurate number. You don't need much of a number because the number that in theory, I lost by the margin would be 11,779. Uh, but you also have uh, substantial uh, numbers of people, thousands and thousands, who went to the voting place on November 3rd, were told they couldn't vote, were told they couldn't vote because a ballot had been put in on their name. And, uh, you know, that's uh, very, 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 very sad. We had... Um, I believe it's about uh, 4,502 voters who voted, uh, but who weren't on the voter registration list. So it's 4,502 who voted, but they were not on the voter registration roll, which they had to be. Uh, you had 18,325 vacant address voters. They had no, the address was vacant, uh, and they're not allowed to be counted. That's 18,325. A uh, smaller number, you had 904 who uh, only voted uh, where they had just a PO, a post office box number. And uh, they had a post office box number, and that's not allowed. We had uh, at least 18,000 that's on tape. We had them counted very painstakingly. 18,000 voters uh, having to do with that's uh, she's a vote scammer, a professional vote scammer and hustler. Uh, that is uh, that was the tape that's been shown all over the world that makes everybody look bad, uh, you, me, and everybody else. Where they got 
Uh, number one, they they said they said very clearly, and and uh, it's re been reported that they said there was a major water main break. Everybody fled the area, and then they came back, and a few people. Uh, there were no Republican poll watchers. Actually, there were no Democrat poll watchers. I guess they were them, but there were no Democrats either, and there was no law enforcement. Uh, late in the morning, they went. Early in the morning, they went to. Uh, the table with the black robe, the black uh, shield, and they pulled out the votes. Those votes were put there a number of hours before the table was put there. I think it was, Brad, you would know, it was probably uh, eight hours or seven hours before, and then it was stuffed with uh, votes. They weren't in an official uh, voter box. They were in what looked to be uh, uh, suitcases or trunks, uh, suitcases, but they weren't in, uh, in voter boxes. Uh, the minimum number it could be, because we watched it and they they watched it certified uh, in slow motion, instant replay, if you can believe it, but it had slow motion and it was magnified many times over. And the minimum it was was 18,000 ballots, all for Biden. Um, you had out-of-state voters. Uh, they voted in uh, Georgia, but they were from out-of-state of 4,925, uh, you had absentee ballot sent to uh, yeah, vacant, they were absentee ballots sent to vacant addresses. Uh, they had nothing on them about addresses. That's 2,326. Um, and you had drop boxes, uh, which was very bad. You had drop box boxes that were picked up. We have uh, uh, photographs and we have uh, affidavits from many people. I, I don't know if you saw the hearings, but but you have drop boxes where the box was picked up and not delivered for three days. So all sorts of things could have happened to that box, including, you know, putting in the votes that you wanted. So there are many infractions, and the bottom line is many, many times the 11,779 margin that they said we lost by. Uh, we had... Vast. I mean, you have, the state is in turmoil uh, over this, and I know you would like to get to the bottom of it, although I saw you on television today and you said uh, that you found nothing wrong. I mean, you know, I, and I didn't lose the state, Brad. Uh, people have, have been saying that it was the highest vote ever. There was no way. A, a lot of the the political people said that there's no way they beat me, and they beat me. They, they uh, beat me in the... Paul, as you know, every single state, we won every state, we won every state house in the country. We held the Senate, which is shocking to people, although we'll see what happens tomorrow or in a few days. Uh, and we uh, we won the House, but we won every single state house, and we won Congress, which was supposed to lose 15 seats, and they gained, I think, 16 or 17 or something. I think there's now a difference of five. There was supposed to be a difference substantially more. But politicians in every state, but politicians in Georgia have given affidavits and are going to that uh, that there was no way they beat me in the in the election, uh, that the people came out. In fact, they were expecting to lose, and they, they ended up winning by a lot because of the coattails. And they said there's no way that they've done many polls prior to the election. There was no way that they won. Uh, ballots were dropped at, in massive numbers. And we're trying to get to those numbers, and we will have them. They'll take a period of time, certified. Uh, but but uh, but they're massive numbers, and far greater than the 11,779. Uh, the other thing, uh, dead people. So dead people voted, and I think uh, the the number is in the pro uh, close to 5,000 people, and they went to uh, obituaries. They went to uh, all sorts of methods to come up with an accurate number, and a minimum is close to about 5,000 voters. The bottom line is when you add it all up, and then you start adding, you know, 300,000 uh, uh, fake ballots, then the other thing they said is in Fulton County and other areas, and this may or may not be true, this just came up this morning, that they are uh, burning their ballots, that they are shredding, shredding ballots and removing equipment. They're uh, changing the equipment on the uh, on the Dominion machines. Uh, 
and you know then that's not legal and they supposedly shredded i think they said 300 pounds of 3000 pounds of ballots and that just came to us as a report today and uh you know it's uh, it's a very sad situation but uh but Brad uh if you took the minimum numbers were were many many times above the 11779 and many of those numbers are certified or they will be certified, but they are certified. Those are numbers that are there that exist and that uh, that beat the margin, uh, the margin of loss. It beat, They beat it, I mean, by a lot. And people should be happy to have an accurate count instead of an election where there's turmoil. I mean, there's turmoil in Georgia and other places. You're not the only one. I mean, we have uh, other states that I believe will be flipping to us very shortly. And uh, but this is this is something that's, uh, you know, as an example, I think in in Detroit and I think there's a section, a good section of your state, actually, which we're not sure. So we're not going to report it yet. But uh, in Detroit, we had 100. I think it was 139 uh, percent of the people voted. Uh, That's not too good. In Pennsylvania, they had. well over 200,000 more votes than they had people voting. And uh, that was, that doesn't play too well. And, and the uh, legislature there is, which is Republican, is extremely activist and angry. But, I mean, there were other things also that were almost as bad as that. But, but uh, they had, as an example, in Michigan, a tre- tremendous number of dead people that voted. I think it was... I think Mark, it was eighteen thousand, some some unbelievably high number, much higher than yours. You were you were in the four to five thousand category, and that was checked out uh, laboriously by going through uh, uh, birth, by going through the obituary columns in the newspapers. So, I guess with all of it being said, Brad, it's the bottom line and provisional ballots uh, again. You know. You'll have to tell me about the provisional ballots, but we have uh, a lot of people that were complaining that they weren't able to vote because they were already voted for. And these are great people. And, uh, you know, they were shell shocked. I don't know if you call that provisional ballots. In some states, we had a lot of provisional ballot uh, situations where people were given a provisional ballot because when they walked in on November 3rd, they were already voting for, voted for. So that's it. I mean, we have. Uh, Many, many times the number of, uh, of votes necessary to win the state, and we won the state, and we won it very substantially and easily, and we're, we're getting, we have, m- much of this is a very, cer- you know, they're certified, uh, far more certified than we need, but we're getting additional numbers certified too, and we're getting uh, pictures of drop boxes being delivered and delivered late. And delivered three days later in some cases. Plus, we have many affidavits to that effect. So, Mr. President, if I if I might be able to jump in, and I'll give Brad a chance, uh, uh, Mr. Secretary. Uh, one of the, obviously uh, there is uh, there are allegations where we believe that uh, not every vote or fair vote and legal vote was was counted. Uh, and that's at odds with the representation from the Secretary of State's office. Uh, what I'm hopeful for is, is there some way that we can, we can find, uh, some kind of an agreement to, to, uh, to look at this a little bit more fully. Uh, you know, the President mentioned Fulton County, but in some of these areas where there seems to be uh, a difference, uh, of, where the facts uh, seem to lead, and so, Mr. Secretary, I was uh, hopeful that, you know, in a spirit of uh, cooperation and compromises, there there's something that uh, we can at least have a discussion to look at some of these allegations uh, to uh, to find a, a path forward that's less litigious. Well, uh, I've listened to what you know, the president has just said. President Trump, uh, we've had several lawsuits, and we've had to respond in court to the lawsuits and the contentions. Uh, we don't agree that you have one. We don't. We, I didn't agree about the 200,000 number that you mentioned. 
and I could go through that point by point, what we had done is we gave our state senate uh, about one and a half hours of of our time going through the election issue by issue. And then on the state house, uh, the government affairs committee, we gave them about two and a half hours of our time going back point by point on all the issues of contention. And then uh, just a few days ago, we met with uh, our U.S. congressman, Republican congressman, uh, and we gave them about two hours of our time uh, talking about this past election. Uh, going back, primarily what you're, what you've talked about here focused in on primarily, I believe, is the absentee ballot process. I don't believe that you're really questioning the, uh, the, the Dominion machines because we did a hand retally, a 100% retally of all the ballots and compared that to what the machine said, and, and it came up with virtually the same result. Then we did the recount, and we got virtually the same result. So I, I guess we could probably take that off the table. I don't think there's an issue about that. Um, I think what well, you were well, Brad, Brad um, not that there's not an issue, but because we have a big issue with Dominion and other states, and perhaps in yours, but we have we haven't felt we needed to go there, and just to you know maybe put a little different spin on what Mark is saying, Mark Meadows, um, yeah, we'd like to go further, but we don't really need to. We have all the votes we need. You know, we won the state. If you took these are the most minimal numbers, the numbers that I gave you. Those are numbers that are certified, your absentee ballots sent to vacant addresses, your your out-of-state voters, 4,925. You know, when you add them up, it's many, more it's many times the 11,779 number. So we could go through. We have not gone through your dominion, so we can't give them blessing. I mean, in other states, we think we found tremendous corruption with dominion machines, but we'll have to see. But but we we only lost the state by eleven by by that number eleven thousand votes and uh, seven seventy nine. So with that being said, uh, with just what we have, and you know with just what we have, we're giving you minimal minimal numbers. We're doing the most conservative numbers possible. We're many times many many times above the the margin. And so we don't really have to mark. I don't think we have to go through right. machines because, right. because what, what's the difference between winning the election by two, two votes and winning it by a half a million votes? I think right. we probably did win it by a half a million. You know, one of the things that happened, Brad, is we have other people coming in now from Alabama and from uh, South Carolina and from other states, and they're saying it's impossible for you to, to have lost Georgia. We won, you know, in Alabama, we set a record, got the highest vote ever. In uh, Georgia, we set a record with a massive amount of votes. And they say it's not possible to have lost Georgia. And I could tell you by our rallies. I could tell you by the rally I'm having on Monday night, the place they already have lines of people standing out front waiting. It's just not possible to have lost Georgia. It's not possible. When I heard it was close, I said, there's no way. But they dropped a lot of votes in there late at night. You know that, Brett. And that's what we are working on very, very stringently. But regardless of those votes, with all of it being said, we lost by uh, 11, essentially 11,000 votes. And we have many more votes already calculated and certified, too. So I, I just don't know, you know, Mark, I don't know what's the pur purpose I, I won't give Dominion a pass because we found too many bad things, but we don't need Dominion or anything else. We have we have all we have won this election in Georgia based on all of this. And there's there's nothing wrong with with saying that, Brad. You know, I mean, having the having a correct you, the people of Georgia are angry, and these numbers are going to be repeated on Monday night, along with others that we're going to have by that time, which are much more substantial even, and. The people of Georgia are angry. The people of the country are angry. And there's nothing wrong with saying that, you know, uh, that you've recalculated because uh, the 2,236 and absentee ballots, I mean, they're, they're all exact numbers that were, were done by accounting firms, law firms, etc. And even if you cut them in half, cut them in half and cut them in half again, it's more votes than we need. Well, Mr. President, the challenge that you have 
is the data you have is wrong. Uh, we we talked to the congressman and they were surprised, but they uh, I guess there was a person named Mr. Raynard that came to these meetings and presented data, and he said that there was dead people. Of, I believe it was upward of five thousand. The actual number were two, two, two people that were dead that voted, and so that's wrong. That was two. Well, Cleta, how do you respond to that? I mean, you tell me. Well, well I, I will because say, Mr. Secretary, one of the things that we have requested, sir, and we did, what we said was, and if you look at the, if you read our petition. It said that we took the names and birth years, and you know we had certain information available to us. We have asked from your office for records that only you have, and so we said there's a universe of people who have the same name and same birth year and died, but we don't have the records that you have. And one of the things that we have been suggesting formally and informally for weeks now is to try is for you to make available to us the records that would be necessary but, to confirm. But Cleta, even before you do that, Cleta, even before you do that, and not even including that, that's why I hardly even included that number, although in one state we have a tremendous amount of dead people, so I don't know. I'm sure we do in Georgia, too. I'm sure we do in Georgia, too. But um, is that we're so far ahead, we're so far ahead of these numbers, even the phony ballots of uh, known scammer. You know the Internet? You know what was trending on the Internet? Because they thought you'd be in jail. Um, it's, uh, it's crazy. It's crazy. That was, the minimum number is 18,000, but they think it's probably about 56,000. But the minimum number is 18,000 a night where she ran back in there when everybody was gone and stuffed. She stuffed the ballot boxes. Let's face it, Brad. I mean, I, they did it in slow motion replay magnified, right? She stuffed the ballot boxes. They were stuffed like nobody's ever seen them stuffed before. So there's a term for it when it's a machine instead of a ballot box. But uh, the, she stuffed the machine. She stuffed the ballot. Each each ballot went three times. They were showing. Here's ballot number one. Here it is a second time, third time. Next ballot. I mean, look, Brett. This is we we have a new tape that we're going to release. It's devastating. And by the way, that one event, that one event is much more than the eleven thousand votes that we're talking about. It's, uh, you know, that one event was a a disaster. Uh, it's it just, you know, but it was it, it was something that uh, it can't be disputed. And again, we have a version that you haven't seen, but it's uh, it's it's uh, magnified. It's magnified and you can see every everything. And she put for some reason, they put it in three times each ballot. And I don't know why, but. You know, why, I don't know why three times, why not five times, right? But, uh, yeah, go ahead. You're, you're talking about uh, the State Farm video, and I think it's extremely unfortunate that Rudy Giuliani or his people, they sliced and diced that video and took it out of context. So the next day we brought in WSB TV and we let them show, see the full run of tape. And what you'll see, the events that transpired are nowhere near what was pre was uh, projected by... You but know, where were the poll watchers, Brad? There were no poll watchers there. There were no Democrats or Republicans. There was no security there. It was late in the evening, or late in the early in the morning, and there was nobody else in the room. Where were the poll watchers? And why did they say a water main broke, which they did, and which is reported in, in the newspapers? They said they left. They ran out because of a water main break, and there was no water main. There was nothing. There was no break. There was no water main break. Um... But where, if you if you take out everything, where were the Republican poll watchers? Even where were the Democrat poll watchers? Because there were none. And then you say, well, they left their station. You know, if you look at the tape, and this was it. This was reviewed by professional police and, and detectives and and other people. Uh, when they left in a rush, everybody left in a rush because of the water main. But everybody left in a rush. These people left their station. When they came back, 
they didn't go to their station. They went to the apron wrapped around the table under which were thousands and thousands of ballots in a box that was not a, an official or a sealed box. And then they took those and they went back to a different station. So if they would have come back, they would have walked to their station and they would have continued to work. But they couldn't do the, even that because that's illegal because they had no Republican poll watchers. And remember, her reputation is 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 devil. She's known all over the internet, Brett. She's known all over. It, I'm telling you, where's where was one of the hot items on the. They knew her. Uh, so, Brad, you know, th this, there can be no justification for that. And, and I, I, you know, I give everybody the benefit of the doubt. But that was and, – and, Brad, why did they put the, the uh, votes in three times? You know, they put them in three times. They, Mr. President, they did not put that. We, we, can, we did an audit of that, and we proved conclusively that they were not scanned three times. Well, where was everybody else at that late time in the morning? Where was everybody? Where were the Republicans? Where were the security guards? Where were the people that were there just a little while before when everyone ran out of the room? How come, how come we had no security in the room? Why did they run to the bottom of the table? Why did they run there and just open the skirt and rip out the, uh, and rip out the votes? I mean, Brad. And they were sitting there. I think for five hours or something like that, the votes. But they just all happened to run back and go, you know, Brad. Come on. Yeah, Mr. President, we'll send you the link from WSB that does. I, I don't care about a link. I don't need it. I have a, I have, a much Mr. Brad. President, I have a much Mr. better Secretary, link. I, I will tell you, I've seen the tape, the full tape. So has Alex. We've watched it, and what we saw and what we've confirmed in the timing is that. They made everybody leave. We have sworn affidavits saying that. And then they continue, Then they began to process ballots. And our estimate is that there were roughly 18,000 ballots. We don't know that. If you know that. It was 18,000 like ballots, either. but they used each one three times. Well, so I don't the, know about that, but yeah, I know Well, I, I, I do, know. because we, have it, we had ours magnified out. So but, uh, but each, each watched, one magnified out. I've watched it, the entire it, 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 three. But, but, you know. But nobody can make a case for that, Brett. Nobody. I mean, look, thats you'd have to be a child to think anything other than that. Just a child. I mean, you have your never how, Trump how, attorney how there. Ballots, how many ballots, Mr. Secretary, are you saying that were processed in? We had GPI thoroughly investigate that. We had our, this is Ryan Germany, we had our law enforcement officers talk to everyone. Uh, who was who was there after that event came to light? Uh, they, GBI was with them as well as um, FBI agents. Um, well, there's there's no way they could. Buy, then they're incompetent. They're, they're either dishonest well, they or find? incompetent. Okay, there's only two answers: dishonesty or incompetence. There's just no way. Look, there's no way. And on the other well, thing I said too, there's no way. I mean, there's no way that these things could have been. You know, you have all these different people that that voted, but they don't live in Georgia anymore. Uh, what was that number, Clay? That was a pretty good number, too. Yeah. Well, the, the number who had registered out of state after they moved from Georgia. Um, and so they they had a date when they moved from Georgia. They registered to vote out of state. And then they've like 4,500. I don't have that right in front of me. And then they came like back that. in and they voted. And yeah. voted. Yeah. No, that was a large number, though. It was in the 20s. And, uh, you know... The point We've is been going through each of those as well, and 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 those numbers that that we got um, that Miss Mitchell was just saying, they're not accurate. Everyone we've been through are people that lived in Georgia, moved to a different state, but then moved back to Georgia legitimately. And in, and in many cases, really, how many people do that? So I mean, they moved out and then they said, "How oh, the hell with it? I'll move back." And you know, it doesn't sound like a very normal. You mean they moved out? And what they missed it so much that they wanted to move back in? <laughs> yeah, it's like it's crazy. Well, and they this is they moved back in years ago. This was not like something just before the election. So there's something about that data that it's just not accurate. Well, I don't know. We, I mean, all all I know is that it is it is certified, and they moved out of Georgia, and they voted. It didn't say they moved back in, Clayton, did it? No, but I mean, we lo we're looking at the voter registry. Again, if you have additional records, we've been asking for that. 
but you haven't shared any of that with us. You just keep saying you've been. Lita, a lot of it you don't need to be shared. I mean, to be honest, they should share it. They 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 should should. share it because you want to get to an honest election. I won this election by hundreds of thousands of votes. There's no way I lost Georgia. There's no way. We won by hundreds of thousands of votes. I'm just going by small numbers. When you add them up, they're many times the 11,000. But but I won that state by hundreds of thousands of votes. Now, do you think it's possible that they uh, shredded ballots in uh, Fulton County? Because that's what the rumor is. And also that Dominion took out machines. Uh, that Dominion is really moving fast to get rid of their uh, machinery. Do you know anything about that? Because that's illegal. This is Ryan Germany. No, Dominion has not um, moved any machinery out of Fulton County. We're having. Well, but no, but but have they moved? Have they have they moved the inner parts of the machines and replaced them with other parts? No. You sure, Ryan? I'm sure. I'm sure, Mr. President. And what about what about the uh, what about the ballots? The uh, shredding of the ballots. Have they been shredding ballots? No. The, the only investigation that we have into that, they have not been shredding any ballots. Um, there was an issue in Cobb County where they were doing normal, uh, you know, office shredding, getting rid of old stuff, and we investigated that. But this is stuff from you know past elections. Well, I don't know. Uh, and, that's, and, that's, and that's what it's it very, it, it, it doesn't pass the smell test, though, because we hear they're shredding thousands and thousands of ballots. Uh, and now what they're saying, oh, we're just cleaning up the office. You know, I don't think that plays. Well, Mr. President, the problem uh, you have with social media, they can people can say anything. Uh, uh, no, this isn't social media. This is Trump media. It's not social media. It's, it's, it's really not. It's not social media. I don't care about social media. I couldn't care less. Social media is big tech. Big tech is on your side, you know. I don't even know why you have a side, because you should want to have an accurate election. And you're a Republican. We believe that we do have an accurate election. No, I no you don't. No, no, you don't. You don't have you don't have not even close. You got you're off by hundreds of thousands of votes and just on the small numbers you're off on these numbers. And uh, these numbers can't be just. Well, why won't? Okay, so you send us into Cobb County for uh, signature verification, right? You send us into Cobb County, which we didn't want to go into, uh, and you said it would be open to the public, and we could have our. So we had our experts there; they weren't allowed into the room. But we didn't want Cobb County; we wanted Fulton County, and you wouldn't give it to us. Now, why aren't we doing signature, and why can't it be open to the public, and why can't we have professionals do it instead of rank amateurs that will never find anything and, and don't want to find anything? They don't want to find You know they don't want to find anything. Someday you'll tell me the reason why, because I don't understand your reasoning, but someday you'll tell me the reason why. But why don't you want to find We chose Cobb County. Why don't we you want Cobb to find County. What? Sorry, go ahead. Yeah, why did, why, okay, so why did you do Cobb County? We didn't even request, we requested Fulton County, not Cobb County. Well, Mr. President, we, we didn't have Cobb our election County. contest. We yeah, go ahead, please, Cobb go County. ahead. We chose Cobb County because that was the only county where there's been any evidence submitted that the signature verification was not properly done. Well, no, but, but uh, I, I, I told you, but we're not, we're not saying that. We are no, we that. the aggrieved, we we're the that. aggrieved party. Fulton County, look. Stacy, in my opinion, Stacy is as dishonest as they come. She has outplayed you at every heart, at, at everything. She got you to sign a totally unconstitutional uh, agreement, which which is a disastrous agreement. You can't check signatures. You can't do. I, I can't imagine uh, you're allowed to do harvesting. I guess in that agreement, that agreement is a disaster for for this country. And but she got you somehow to sign that thing. And she is a she's outsmarted you at every step. And I, I hate to imagine what's going to happen on Monday or Tuesday, but it's very scary to people, you know, where the ballots flow in out of nowhere. It's very scary to people. That consent decree is a disaster. It's a disaster. A, a, a very good lawyer who examined it said they've never seen anything like it. And uh Harvesting is still illegal in the state of Georgia, and that settlement agreement did not change that. One well, it's not a settlement agreement. It's a consent decree. It even says consent decree on it, doesn't it? 
It uses the term consent decree. It doesn't say settlement agreement. It's a consent decree. It's a disaster. It's a settlement agreement. What's what's written on top of it? Ryan? I don't I don't have it in front of me, but it, it, it was not entered by the court. It's not a court order. Not no, a it's a, it's order called, order. but Ryan, it's it's called a consent decree. Is that right on the paper? Is that right? I don't I I, I don't I don't believe so. But I don't I don't have okay. it in front of me. Okay. Whatever. It's a disaster. It's a disaster. Uh, look, here's the problem. We can go through signature verification, and we'll find hundreds of thousands of signatures if you let us do it. And the only way you can do it, as you know, is to go to the past. But you didn't do that in Cobb County. You just looked at one page compared to another. The only way you can do a signature verification is go from the one that signed it in, in on November whatever, recently, and compare it to two years ago, four years ago, six years ago, you know, or, or even one. And you'll find that you have many different signatures. But in... in uh, Fulton, where they dumped ballots, you will find that you have many that aren't even signed, and you have many that are forgeries, okay? You know that. You know that. You have no doubt about that. And you will find, you will be at 11,779 within minutes, because Fulton County is totally corrupt, and so is she totally corrupt. And... They're going around playing you and laughing at you behind your back, Brad. Whether you know it or not, they're laughing at you. And you've taken a state that's a Republican state, and you've made it almost impossible for a Republican to win because of cheating, because they cheated like nobody's ever cheated before. And I don't care how long it takes me. Uh, you know, we're going to have other states coming forward pretty good. But I, I, I won't. This is never given. This is we have some incredible talent. Said they've never seen anything. Now the problem is they need more time for the big numbers, but they are very substantial numbers. But and I think you're going to find that they. Uh, by the way, a little information. I think you're going to find that they are shredding ballots because they have to get rid of the ballots because the ballots are unsigned. The ballots are are corrupt. And they're brand new, and they don't have seals, and there's a whole thing with the ballots, but the ballots are corrupt. And you're going to find that they are, which is totally illegal. It's, it's, it's more illegal for you than it is for them, because you know what they did, and you're not reporting it. That's a, you know, that's a criminal, that's a criminal offense. And, and, you know, you can't let that happen. That's, that's a big risk to you and to Ryan, your lawyer. That's a big risk. But they are shredding ballots, in my opinion based on what I've heard, and they are removing machinery, uh, and they're moving it as fast as they can, both of which are criminal fines, and you can't let it happen, and you are letting it happen. Oh, you know, I mean, I'm notifying you that you're letting it happen. So, look, all I want to do is this. I just want to find uh, 11,780 votes, which is one more than we have, because we won the state, and flipping the state is a great testament to our country. Because, you know, there's, there's, there's just a, it's a testament that they can admit to a mistake, or whatever you want to call it, if it was a mistake. I don't know. A lot of people think it wasn't a mistake. It was much more uh, criminal than that. But it's a big problem in Georgia, and it's, it's not a problem that's going away. I mean, you know, it's not a problem that's going away. And, and we got President, it. this is Ryan. We're yeah. looking into every one of those things that, that you mentioned. Uh, okay, and our investigators, I know, but if you find them, you got to say it, Ryan. Look, if they are, are, let me ask you, we, Ryan, if they're destroying ballots. Let me tell you what we are seeing. Go ahead. Go ahead. We, what, what we're seeing is not at all what you're describing. Okay. Uh, and it, these are investigators from our office. These are investigators from uh, GBI, um, and they're looking, and they're good. And that's not what they're seeing. And we'll keep we'll we'll, we'll keep looking. We'll keep looking at all these things. Well, you better check on the ballots because they are shredding ballots, Brian. I'm just telling you, Ryan, they're shredding ballots, and uh, you should look at that very carefully because that's so illegal. You know, you may not even believe it because it's so bad. But but they're shredding ballots. 
because they think we're going to eventually get there, because we'll eventually get into Fulton. You know, it's uh, in my opinion, it's in never my opinion, it's never too late. So, oh, so, oh, little double, uh, little double, double sound, act, double yeah. sound act. Yeah. So, um, uh, so that's the story, fellas. I, look, we need. Only 11,000 votes. We have far more than that as it stands now. We'll have more and more. Uh, and do you have provisional ballots at all, uh, Brad? Provisional ballots? Provisional ballots are allowed, you know, by state law. Sure. Yeah, but do you have them? I mean, are they counted or, or did you just hold them back because they, you know, in other words, how many provisional ballots do you have in the state? We'll get you that number. Because uh, most of them are made out to the name Trump, because these are people that were scammed when they came in, and we have thousands of people that have testified or, or that want to testify. When they came in, they were proudly going to vote on November 3rd, and they were told, I'm sorry, you've already been voted for, you've already voted. The women, men started screaming, no, I proudly voted till November 3rd. They said, I'm sorry, but you've already been voted for. And you have a ballot. And these people are beside themselves. So they went out and they filled in a provisional ballot putting the name Trump on it. And what about that batch of military ballots that came in? And even though I won the military by a lot, it was 100% Trump. Do you know? I mean, 100% Biden. Do you know about that? A, a large group of ballots came in. I think it was to Fulton County. And they just happened to be 100 percent for Trump, even though for uh, Biden, even though Trump won the military by a lot, you know, a, a tremendous amount. But these ballots were 100 percent for Biden. And you know about that? A very substantial number came in all for Biden. Does anybody know about it? I know about it, but we were never... I, I well, okay, Tlita, wait. I'm not asking you, Tlita, honestly. I'm asking I'm asking Brad. Do you know about the military ballots that we have confirmed now? Do you know about the military ballots that came in that were uh, 100%, I mean, 100% for Biden? Do you know about that? And I don't know about that. I, I do know that um, we have, when, when military ballots come in, it's not just military. It's also military and um, overseas citizens. Uh, the military part of that does generally go Republican. The overseas citizen part of it uh, generally goes uh, very Democrat. No, but uh, this was you, a mix of them. Yeah, that's okay. But I get I got like seventy eight percent in the military. These ballots were all for this. This they were they didn't tell me overseas could be overseas too. But I get votes overseas too, Ryan. You know, in all fairness, no, they came in a large batch came in, and it was quote one hundred percent for Biden. And that is criminal. You know, that's criminal. Okay, that's another criminal. That's another of the many criminal events. Many criminal events here. Um, I don't know. Look, Brad, I got to get, I have to find 12,000 votes, and I have them times a lot, and therefore I won the state. That's before we go to the next step, which is in the process of right now, you know. And I watched you this morning, and you said, uh, well, there was no criminality. But, I, I mean, all of this stuff is, is very dangerous stuff. It's, when you talk about no criminality, I think it's very dangerous for you to say that. I, I, just, I just don't know why you don't want to have the votes counted as they are. Like, even you, when you went and did that check, and I was surprised because, you know, I didn't consider the, the check, and we found a few thousand votes that were against me. I was actually surprised because the way that check was done, all you, you're doing is, re, you know, recertifying existing votes. And, you know, it, you were given votes and you just counted them up and you still found 3,000 that were bad. That was sort of surprising. That came down to three or five. I don't know. A lot, you know, still a lot of votes. But, but you have to go back to check from past years with respect to uh, signatures. And if you check with Fulton County, you'll have hundreds of thousands because they dumped ballots into Fulton County and the other county next to it. So what, so what are we going to do here, folks? I only need 11,000 votes. Fellas, I need 11,000 votes. Give me a break. Uh, you know, we have that in spades already. 
or we can keep it going. But that's not fair to the voters of Georgia because they're going to see what happened. And uh, they're going to see what happened. I mean, I'll I'll take on anybody you want with regard to Ruby Freeman and her lovely daughter, a very lovely young lady, I'm sure. But Ruby Friedman, I, I will take Freeman. I will take on anybody you want. And the, the minimum, the, the, there were 18,000 ballots, but they used them three times. So that's, you know, a lot of votes. Uh, and that one event, and they were all to Biden, by the way. That's the other thing we didn't say. You know, the uh, Ruby Friedman, one thing I forgot to say, which was the most important. Do you know that every single ballot she did went to Biden? You know that, right? Do you know that, by the way, Brett? Every single ballot that she did through the machine at uh, early, early in the morning went to Biden. Did you know that, Ryan? That's not accurate, Mr. President. Huh. What is accurate? The, the numbers <laughs> that we are showing are accurate. Um, no, you pick, you no, about Ruby Freeman, about, about early in the morning, Ryan. When the woman took the, you know, when the whole gang took the stuff out of the, from under the table, right? Do you know that the, do you know who those ballots, do you know who they were made out to? Do you know who they were voting for? No, not specifically. Did you ever check? We, we, we did what I described to you earlier. No, no, no. Did you ever check the ballots that were scammed by Ruby Freeman, known a known uh, political operative uh, balloteer. Did you ever check who those votes were for? We looked into that situation that you described. No, they were 100% for Biden. 100%. There wasn't a Trump vote in the whole group. Why don't you want to find this, Ryan? What's wrong with you? I heard, the, I heard your lawyer is very difficult, actually, but I'm sure you're a good lawyer. You have a nice last name. But but I'm just curious why wouldn't why why do you keep fighting this thing? It just doesn't make sense. We're way over the seventeen thousand seven seventy nine, right? We're way over that number. And just if you took just Ruby Freeman, we're over that number by five five or six times when you multiply it out times three. Uh, and every single ballot went to Biden, and and you didn't know that, but now you know it. So so tell me, Brad, what are we going to do? Uh, we won the election, and it's not fair to take it away from us like this. And it's going to be very costly in many ways. And I think you have to say that you're going to re-examine it, and you can re-examine it, but, but re-examine it with people that want to find answers, not people that don't want to find answers. Uh, for instance, I'm hearing Ryan, and he's probably, I'm sure, a great lawyer and everything, but he's making statements about those ballots that he doesn't know. But he's making them with such, he, he did make them with surety, but now I think he's less sure, because the answer is they all went to Biden. And that alone wins us the election by a lot. You know, so. Mr. President, uh, you have people that submit information, and we have our people that submit information, and then it comes before the court, and the court then has to make a determination. We have to stand by our numbers. We believe our numbers are right. Um, well, why do you say that, though? I, I don't know. I mean, sure, we can play this game with the courts. But why do you well, say that? Uh, First of all, they don't even assign us a judge. They don't even assign well, us a judge. Uh, but why well, wouldn't you, if, hey, Brad, why wouldn't you want to check out Ruby Freeman? And why wouldn't you want to say, hey, if, if in fact President Trump is right about that, then he wins the state of Georgia? Just that one incident alone, without going through hundreds of thousands of drop ballots. You just say you stick by, you, I mean, I've been watching you for, you know, you don't care about anything. Your numbers are right. But your numbers aren't right. They're really wrong. And they're really wrong, Brad. And, and I know this phone call is going nowhere other than other than ultimately, you know, it, look, ultimately I win. Okay. Because but, Mr. Secretary, Mr. you guys President, are so wrong and you've treated this, 
You've treated the population of Georgia so badly, you between you and your governor, who wouldn't who was down at twenty one he was down twenty one points. And like a schmuck, I endorsed him and got, he got elected. But uh, I will tell you, he's a disaster. And he'll never, I can't imagine, the people are so angry in Georgia, I can't imagine he's ever getting elected again. I'll tell you that much right now. But, but why wouldn't you want to find the right answer, Brad, instead of keep saying that the numbers are right? Because those numbers are so wrong. And, well, Mr. Secretary, Mr. President, I mean, one of the things that we have been, Alex can talk about this, but we talked about it, and I don't know whether the information has been conveyed to your office, but I think what the President's saying and what we've been trying to do is to say, look, the court is not acting on our petition. They haven't even assigned a judge. But the people of Georgia and the people of America have a right to know the answers. And you have data and records that we don't have access to. And you keep telling us and making public statements that you've investigated this and, you know, nothing to see here. But we don't know about that. All we know is what you tell us. What I don't understand is why it wouldn't be in everyone's best interest to, um, to try to get to the bottom, compare the numbers. You know, if you say, because if but to try to be able to get to, to the truth, and that we because we don't have any way of confirming what you're telling us. You tell us that you've had an investigation of the State Farm Arena. I, I don't have any report. I've never seen a report of investigation. I don't know what that is. I, I've been pretty involved in this. I don't know. And that's just one of like 25 categories. And it doesn't even and and as I as the president said, we haven't even gotten into the Dominion issue. That's not part of our case. It's not part of we we just didn't feel as though we had any way to be able to develop. No, we do have a way, but I don't want to get into it because exactly. we have we found a way in other states later. Excuse me, but we don't need right. it because we're only down eleven thousand votes, so we don't even need it. Right. I but personally I think they're corrupt as hell. But we don't need that because all we have to do, Clayton, is find 11,000 plus votes. So we don't need that. I'm not looking to to shake up the whole world. We won Georgia easily. We won it by hundreds of thousands of votes. But if you go by basic, simple numbers, we won it easily, easily. So uh, we're not giving uh, Dominion a pass on the record. I no, right, exactly. But we just don't, you know, we don't need we don't Dominion need because we have so many other votes that we don't need to prove it any more than we already have. Mr. President, so Lita, this is Kurt Hilbert, yeah. if I might back here for a moment. Um, Ryan, uh, I would like to suggest that just four categories that have already been mentioned by the President – uh, that have actually hard numbers of 24,149 votes that were counted illegally. That in and of itself is sufficient to change the results or place the outcome in doubt. Um, we would like to just sit down with your office, and we can do it through purposes of compromise and settlement just like this phone call, just to deal with that limited category of votes. And if you are able to establish that our numbers are not accurate, then fine. However, we believe that they are accurate. We've had now three to four separate experts look at these numbers. These numbers are based upon the USPS. And certified, and certified accountants looked at them. Correct. And this is just based on USPS data and your own Secretary of State data. Um, so that's what we would entreat and ask you to do, to sit down with us um, in a compromise and settlement um, uh, you know, proceeding and actually go through the registered voter IDs and the registrations. And if you can convince us that that 24,149 is inaccurate, then fine. But we, we tend to believe that that is, you know, obviously more than 11,779. That's sufficient to change the, the result entirely in and of itself. So what would you say to that, Mr. Germany? Kurt, um, I'm happy to... Uh, I'll get with our lawyers, and we'll set that up. Um, the, that number is not accurate, and I think we can show you for all the ones we've looked at uh, why it's not. Uh, and so if that, if that would be helpful, I'm happy to get with our lawyers and set that up with you guys. 
Well, well we'd love to let me ask you, Kurt. Right Kurt, you think that is an accurate number? That was based on the information given to you by the Secretary of State's Department, right? That that is correct. That 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 information is the minimum, most conservative data based upon the USPS data and the Secretary of State's office data that has been made publicly available. We do not have the internal numbers from the Secretary of State, yet we have asked for it six times. I've sent a letter over to Mr. Anolowitz several times uh, requesting this information, and it's been rebuffed every single time. So it stands to reason that if the information is not forthcoming, forthcoming there's something to hide. That's the problem that we have. Well, that's not the case. There are things that, that you guys are, are entitled to get, and there are things that under law we are not allowed to give out. Well, you have to. Well, that's, under that's law, you're not allowed to give faulty election results, okay? You're not allowed to do that, and that's what you've done. This is a faulty election result. And honestly, this should go very fast. You should meet tomorrow because you have a big election, election coming up, and because of what you've done to the president, you know, the people of, of uh, Georgia know that this was a scam, and because of what you've done to the president, a lot of people aren't going out to vote. And a lot of Republicans are going to vote negative because they hate what you did to the president. Okay? They hate it. And they're going to vote. And if you would be respected, if really respected, if this thing could be straightened out before the election. You have a big election coming up on Tuesday. And therefore, I think that it really is important that you meet tomorrow and work out on these numbers. Because I know, Brad, that if if you think we're right, I think you're going to say, and and I'm not looking to blame anybody. I'm not blame. I'm just saying that, uh, you know, uh, you know, un, under new counts and under new uh, uh, views of of the election results, we won the election. So all I, you know, it's it's very simple. We won the election. As the governor of major states in the surrounding states said, there is no way you lost Georgia. As the Georgia politicians say, there is no way you lost Georgia. Nobody, everyone knows I won it by hundreds of thousands of votes. But I'll tell you, it's going to have a big impact on Tuesday if you guys don't get this thing straightened out fast. Well, Mr. President, this is Mark. Let me uh, let me just. It sounds like we've got uh, two different sides agreeing that we can look at those those areas, and and I assume that we can do that within the next 24 uh, to 48 hours to go ahead and get that reconciled so that we can look at the two claims and making sure that we get the access to the Secretary of State's data to either validate or invalidate the claims that have been made. Is that correct? So that's that's not what I said. Um, I'm happy to you know sit down with or have our lawyers sit down with Curtin and 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 the lawyers on on that side and explain to him, hey, here's based on what we've looked at so far, here's how we know this is wrong, this is wrong, this is wrong, this is wrong, this is wrong. And we so what you're now, what you're saying, we, Ryan? Hold on, let me let me make sure. So what you're saying is you, is you really don't want to give access to the data. You just want to make another case on why the lawsuit is wrong. I don't think we I don't think we can give access to to, to data that's protected by law, um, but we can sit down with them and say. But hey, you're we're allowed to have a phony individual. election. You're allowed to have a phony election, right? No, sir. What are you What are you going to do the signature counts on? Uh, when are you going to do signature verification on Fulton County, which you said you were going to do, and now all of a sudden you're not doing it? When are you doing that? We Mr. are going to do that. We've announced. To get to this issue of the uh, personal information and privacy issue, um, is it possible that the Secretary of State could deputize the lawyers for the president so that we could access that information, that private information, without you having any kind of violation? Well, I don't want to know who it is. You guys can do it very confidentially. You can sign a confidentiality agreement. That's okay. I don't need to know names. All right, let me, start, but we yeah. got the information on this stuff that we're talking about. We got all that information from the Secretary of State. Yeah, so let me let me recommend uh, Ryan. If you and Kurt will get together, uh, you know, when we get off of this phone call, if you could get together and work out uh, a, a plan to to address. Uh, some of what we've we've got with your attorneys, where we can we can actually look at the data. Uh, uh, for example, uh, Mr. Secretary, I, I can tell you, you said there was only two 
dead people that would vote. Uh, I, I can promise you there are more than that, uh, and, and that may be what your investigation shows, but I can promise you there are more than that. Uh, but at the same time, I think it's important that we go ahead and move expeditiously to try to do this and resolve it as quickly as we possibly can. And uh, and if that's the good next step, you know, hopefully we can we can uh, finish this phone call and, and go ahead and agree that the two of you will get together immediately. Well, why don't my lawyer show you where you got the information? It'll show the Secretary of State, and you don't even have to look at any names. We don't want names. We don't care. But we got that information from you. Uh, and Stacey Abrams is laughing about, you know, she's going around saying these guys are dumber than a rock. What she's done to this party is unbelievable, I tell you. And I only ran against her once, and that was with a guy named Brian Kemp, and I beat her. And if I didn't run, Brian wouldn't have had even a shot, either in the general or in the primary. He was dead, dead as a doornail. He never thought he had a shot at either one of them. What a schmuck I was. But that's the way it is. That's the way it is. Uh, I would like you to, uh, uh, for the attorneys on Russia, I'd like you to perhaps meet with Ryan ideally tomorrow, because I think we should come to a resolution of this before the election. Otherwise, you're going to have you're going to have people just not voting. They don't want to vote. They hate the state. They hate the governor, and they hate the secretary of state. I will tell you that right now. And the only people that like you are people that will never vote for you. You know that, Brad, right? They like you. You know, they like you. They can't believe what they found. They want more people like you. So, look, uh, can you get together tomorrow? And, Brad, we just want the truth. It's simple. And uh, and everyone's going to look very good if the truth comes out. It's okay. It'll take a little while. But let the truth come out. The and the, tr the real truth is I won by 400,000 votes, at least. That's the real truth. But we don't need 400,000 votes. We need uh, less than 2,000 votes. And uh, are you guys able to meet tomorrow, Ryan? Um, I'll get with Chris, the lawyer who's representing us in the case, uh, and see, see when he can get together with Kurt. All so right. This, this, Ryan will be in touch with that, the other attorney on this call, Mr. Meadows. Thank you, President Trump, for your time. Okay. Thank you, Brad. Thank you, Ryan. Thank you. Thank you, everybody. Thank you. Thank, thank, you. thank you very much. Bye. Thanks, President.